Hey everybody, hey State of Copia, we're back some more Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda. So yeah, it's been... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Woo. But yeah, it's been a couple months since I last played this game, and... I, the reason was because, I don't know, I guess some stuff happened, I wish... And I decided to do other games, you know, try and wait for this game to, I guess, finish updating or something. I don't know, I just kind of forgot about this game and I thought you know well, let's go back to this game you know see you know let's just finish it you know cuz I want to finish this game and but yeah so oh we're finally back all right so um man what happened last time okay so I think what I remember is we um, I guess we established our first outpost here. Uh, it's a scientific outpost. And yeah, so we have our first colony on this planet, which I forget the name. Like I said, it's been a couple months, so I may forget, you know, certain events that took place before, so. Okay. Uh, all right, what are we doing? Okay, I'm just checking. Hmm. Oh, another memory trigger. Oh, but can we get there? I th think. Hmm. You know what? I'll I'll get it later. You know, we'll come back here at some point, but for now let's just I guess we're heading back to the ship. But first this guy wants to talk to me. Uh, Jacob Mitney. Uh what do you want? Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, research and development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. What do you mean, should work? Is this a sure thing, Mitney, or just pie in the sky? I have no interest in wasting your time. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, where'd I go? Uh, no, not that. Uh, where's that? Oh, where's that quest he gave me? Oh, no, no. Where was it? Okay, that one. Craft the Pathfinder off piece. I, oh, I think I craft on the ship, I think. I don't exactly remember. Like I said, it's been a couple months, so... Oh, I don't remember a lot of stuff. Okay, um... But yeah, let's just... Speak with Tan at the Nexus Pathfinder headquarters. Okay. Uh... Do you guys have anything to say? No? Okay. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Hello, Kim Connor. Supplies, trade, procurement. Anything you need, I can provide. Though I hear you've got Vetra Nix keeping you well stocked. You know Vetra? 
I worked with her on the Nexus in those days of chaos. But I need ground under my feet, and soon, hopefully, trade will flourish on Eos. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Is Eos trading with any new partners? Right now? Just the Nexus, but I have contracts with Wildcat salvages and independent miners. There will be more. Does the outpost have everything it needs? The Nexus furnished us with the basics, but that isn't enough for a home. Providing the rest is my responsibility. The labs can't work without good logistics. They'll have it. You said you know Vetra. What's she really like? Ah, Vetra. You're lucky to have her. Few weathered the mutiny on the Nexus as gracefully. The mutineers tried to convince her to join them. She refused, yet many of them are still her contacts and allies. If Vetra Nix has advice for you, I'd listen. So how did you end up here, Connor? Me? You're the Grand Explorer. I fill out requisition forms. Really? Everyone here has some kind of story. I left mine back home. Or... the... still... Ask me another time. Alright. See you later. Be well, come back again. Hello! Take that. Bradley asked about it. Is there anything he's not overseeing? I think he feels safer when Fox shuts the door. All right, anything else? Pathfinder. Hello. Terminal. Making the request again. Bradley, I know it's not your fault. I know she's supposed to be second wave, but I want a trial or trail so that when all this calms down in a few years, we can get proper outraged about how long it took to reunite families, especially once hurting during the site one to mess. You know, broken promise is a thing, right? Requesting the deployment of Darkit Tyrion. Uh, it's so uh, text is so small. Reason she's an assistant. Also, your daughter. Okay. Hello. What you got? Oh, she said it's mine. Hmm. Ooh, Pathfinder helmet. Oh, Two hundred six. I only have three hundred eighty. Four credits? You know what? Take this stuff. Sell this crap, don't need it. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Got a bit of, bit of credits. Hang on. I want to see if there's an option in the game to increase the text. Because it's so small. Nah, okay, nothing. Okay, there's nothing. Never mind. Never mind. Hello, Hello to you too. Scott, I have headaches so you don't have to. Rather, so Bradley doesn't have to. I've also coordinated with your cat expert. He wanted me to remind you to find him. I didn't assign a cat expert to Pedromos. Then he's a hell of a self-motivator. Here's the nav anyway. Precision is important. Uh... Okay. Thoughts on how the outpost is doing? The planet? Stellar. We keep it up. We'll make this world look like the brochures. Thoughts on your boss? The old man. He's pretty tied into what happens here. I just pick up the day-to-day -day scraps. Good at cracking the whip for these science types. Doesn't fall for the details. I hope he's proud. Feels like he's proud. How did you come to the initiative? Like many, I was lost and looking for a purpose. That sounds loftier than it felt at the time. I was an insufferable ass. The training for the trip was probably enough to cure me of it. But I always took things too far. Didn't know how to stop alienating people until I was the alien. <laughs> See? Still insufferable. Uh oh. Family trouble? Sounds like you left some interesting circumstances. I miss the family, and maybe they miss me. But that doesn't mean I'd go back. I mean, we can't, but still. I like where I came from. It's a great place to be from. Know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I know exactly how you feel. Couldn't wait to be from somewhere. Like a bullet leaves a gun. Sometimes you just gotta go. Where do you launch out of? The pale blue dot. Terra Prime. Big old boring Earth. I miss... I miss that wet dog smell after the first snow melts. I don't know why. What about you? Miss anything? Uh... <laughs> uh... I miss not being a hero. I miss convenience. Or I miss stupid romantic things. Uh... I don't know. Uh... I guess convenience. Things were easier. So much already built. We get to do it all again. For good or bad, I guess. Better get it right. Another time. Of course. Alright, we're done. Secure come to Director Tan from A. Bradley Tan. Appreciate the personal interest, but my people are getting twitchy. With all the messages you're sending them, I like their minds on the job, not being under a microscope. Anson's the one I call. I get it, site one and two are still raw for us too, but Promodos isn't the same. No better way to provide that than to let us do our jobs, give them space, and... I'll give you all the footage you need. Agreed. Okay. I 
You know what, I'll just read this terminal stuff later. Oops, I knocked a chair. Someone has to clean that up. Hello. Ah, Pathfinder. I hear you're to thank for a physics-defying atmosphere processor. That's me. I'm Ryder. Haley Abrams, Director of Scientific Research on EOS, and writer of papers that start what the hell weather. But new galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Gotta keep up. How can I help you? What kind of research are you working on? Your basic first in scientific work, soil, water, atmospherics, plus studying remnant tech, because now I need to understand that to survive here. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? Considering it's world-altering technology we've never encountered before, I hope not. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. What do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell, and he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and we'll make sure he never has to. I've got to go. Keep up the good work. Oh, hello. Uh, Pathfinder, mind giving me your opinion on this? I'm planning classes for our first school, when we have one. Some say we shouldn't teach Milky Way history. All irrelevant now, apparently. <laughs> what? Some say we shouldn't teach Milky Way history. What? Oh, yes, it's relevant. No, it still matters, man. It's our home. Well, before, we, but it's still Earth, you know. We were all shaped by that history. Our children deserve to know how and why. Agreed. Maybe you'll change a few minds. Thanks for stopping. There, see? Exactly. You can't forget about Earth. What are you doing? Ugh. <sighs> Okay, is that everyone? Or is there still more people to talk to? Oh, hello. Wait. Ooh. Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything, thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Hmm, don't want to you work yourselves. I want constant updates. Uh... Hmm. Uh, I don't want to work him too hard, but at the same time, I need to know what's going on, so... I guess take it easy for now, I guess. Let's not drive people too hard. Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions. Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. With man with my you won't end up like site one and two. Uh oh. uh, I guess oh, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh I guess Oh, don't dismiss their efforts. I I don't know. Uh Nah, you know what? It doesn't even matter, so... 
I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet. But that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Head for the Nexus, Pathfinder. The Dremels will have more going on when you come back later. Alright. Are you sure? But I want to check. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Hello. Ryder. August said you might swing by. Ryder, yes? Dr. Ramirez. Run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonists. Just a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the initiative, suggested I consider it. This seemed like a better frontier. What's it like living in our first successful outpost? It's early days, but promising. Everyone pitches in, everyone matters. We know we'll make this work. What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. All right. Anything at the terminal? What you got? Oh, we got case notes. Mr. Josephitz, I find it troubling that you think I could be swayed from my duty by an offer of credits. I understand Victor Carson's friend of yours, but that's hardly an adequate reason to release him from cryostasis and send him to Promodos. Beyond that, from what I hear, you two are a disaster waiting to happen. I know about the prank you and Mr. Carson pulled on Everett before the journey to Helios. Victor Kareen will be released from stasis when I see fit and assigned to an outpost that best suits his skill set. And if I hear you've gone over my head and spoken to Addison about this, you'll have me to answer to. Alright, I don't even bother reading with this stuff. Yeah, it would take too long just to read it all. I got no time for that. Oh, can't go in here. Scientists will cook up for eels. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. Really hope all those scientists will be safe out here.
anyone here? Hello? Oh, no one's here. Uh oh, please help. This is the only way I can get the word out before someone gets killed. My work crew, they keep talking about the remnant tech. They think the initiative's lying about the, how dangerous it is that a couple of electrodes in the right place could get their remnant to work for them instead. They tried before, and I helped out in Med Bay. Uh, when those remnant observers carved up. Uh, I don't know what that is, but Jenin says we could live like kings if we had an army of remnant bots working and fighting for us. He's taking the whole work crew to help him this time. Uh oh, looks like someone needs help. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. That's the recipe for trouble. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. Hmm. Alright. How about here? Oh. Hmm. So, okay, that's a more powerful version. Okay. Okay. down from there oh okay let's check this out Hello. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna scan this. This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. The sand may be from several locations. I need more data to form a conclusion. Alright. Someone say something. No? Okay. Hi. Hello. You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait. Shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Uh, I'm Fox, Chief Engineer at your service. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnant are a wild card. But I hear you almost have that solved, which is amazing. And you found us a good site here. I, uh, I think EOS is really going to be special. 
What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed. Hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering. Boring stuff, unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to... do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative was my best chance. Um... Thanks for asking. Yeah, uh, you're welcome, I guess. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. Bye, Fox. Bye. Stay safe out there. I'll try. Workers rosters. Week two. Kane Fox. Team leader. Oh, that's that guy. He was the leader. Work rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings. A scientist set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Only one location matches the sound from the medical equipment. A monolith. Let's go. Hmm. I'm not going to read all this stuff. It's too long. Oh, you're back. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, oh, no. Mention your uh, worker Bye buddies. Hmm? Where do we go? From here. Alright, I think that's enough explored for now. I'm pretty sure recovered all the outpost. Oh, can I check here? Congrats, hey Connor, heard about the new position. Romanos just gained one hell of a business woman. They're lucky to have you. Okay. And Ryder, I know you're going to get nosy and read this high. <laughs> ah, she knew. Oh, I'll take that. But you, uh, you okay? Uh, hey, you're acting a bit weird there. You okay? Okay, you just. You just do what you're doing there. Hey, what are you doing? Like my car, huh? Pretty cool. Are there right now? 
Can we have that one? Memory trigger. All right, let's head back and do the main quest. Well, um, I think this might be a good spot to end it, guys. I know it's kind of a bit short, but, you know, I just want to get the hang of playing this game again. Like I said, it's been a couple months, so. But hey, we got some new quests, and, you know, some new stuff to do, so we got plenty of stuff to do. But I think we'll do this stuff when we come back here eventually, but for now, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, also uh, hit that subscribe button for some more awesome content. And, yeah, I'll be sure to play some more Mass Effect Andromeda in the future. You know, I just want to finish this game, you know, get out of the way, you know, because I... You know, I want to get it done, so I'm going to move on to other stuff. But regardless, though, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And I guess next time we'll head back to the ship and then talk to... What are we talking to again? Speak with Tan at the Nexus Pathfinder. All right. Cool. Oh, yeah, we also uh, got some new crew members, too. Had to talk to them, you know, learn about them. You know, see what the backstory is. You know, all that good stuff. And, yeah. So, this has been Hesitic over here. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.